Hey, this is Susie. Um, I was playing around with my sidekick and came up with some stuff and I wanted to show you guys. Um, real quick though, I want to thank everybody so much for your thoughts and prayers um, regarding my husband getting a job. Uh, he got a job. Yay! And it's way better job than the last one he had. Um, he worked at this place for about eight years, several years, many years ago. Um, anyways, and he, there's still a lot of the same people working there that he was friends with, and he feels like he's going home now and is super excited. Um, he should be starting probably Sunday or Monday, be his first day, so... Anyways, we're super excited and very thankful. Thank you guys very much for thinking about us. And so I was playing around with my sidekick. And um, real quick, this is how you use this. You it, it uses these dies right here, the little hard plastic ones. And you put the die there and your piece of paper or do vice versa too it doesn't really matter I guess I'll switch plates here okay so put your paper down and your die and I took a bunch of my scraps and cut them so that they were perfect so this is five by two and a half is the size of paper that you would use for these so i just took a bunch of my scraps um and all of them that would make this size cut i cut a bunch of them that way i had a bunch of them and then i also used my scraps okay so this is how this is the sandwich for this you do a plate paper die and a plate and and I will run that through <laughs> and shoot it out the other side evidently <laughs> okay let me make sure that cut all the way and it did so there's a little flower and the little circle part and the little leaf okay so that's what this machine is designed to do okay well i wanted to be able to use my smaller dies uh, metal dies with this so what i did was i took one of the plates and I glued a magnet sheet and what you get these in the hardware department um, and it's a big I think a five or a six by twelve sh magnet sheet and they're designed to go over your vent covers super cheap you can get them at Walmart or Home Depot or any place that sells that kind of stuff and it was literally like maybe three dollars for I think there's two or three sheets in there and you can do a lot of stuff with those magnets and it works great so what I did was I will just take this piece back here again so I glued that on there I'm a goof. okay and this is the real thin dies and it sticks really good on there oops sorry I guess I was out of frame a little bit I'll scoot that over a little bit and so I just put the magnet on there and put my paper down and then my my other plate and then what I did was I took the same size piece of papers it's two and a half by five 
and I took a bunch of my scraps and taped them together and let me see how many sheets I have on here but yours is going to your thickness is going to vary depending on what type of paper you're using but just to give you a rough idea of what I did so I've got one two eight nine so I've got nine sheets on this that I just I just taped and then wrote down on there what this is for okay so then I now I have my magnet glued on here, my die, my paper, my other plate on top, and then my paper sandwich. I have to turn it over. I know. Okay, so then I do my sandwich and then run it through. And shoot it across the table. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, and let's see, come off of there, okay, okay, and now I'm going to do the magnet plate, the die with the paper still in it. I took a, one of my embossing mats and I cut it two and a half by five and rounded the corners. And then that goes on there like that. And then another plate. Okay. And then I have another sandwich. Um, and I think this one's got one, two, three, four pieces of paper. Cut to two and a half by five. And I put that on there. And I run that through the machine. And I'm going to back that back out this way. And I like to kind of go over it just a couple times just to get it nice and embossed. It probably only needs one time, but I like to get it really deeply embossed. Okay, so then we take this off, and pop this out, and here's a tip too. Um, this little tool that I have here, let's see, where's the lid at to that? There it is. Okay, um, you get this in the, by the toothpaste and stuff, and what it is, it's a toothpick, a, you know, a um, reusable toothpick that goes in your purse or hangs off your keychain. And this is a pretty nifty little pokey tool. And I use that to poke out my, my dye stuff. Oh, you know what I did? <laughs> I had the paper turned around backwards. You probably noticed that. But let me see if I can get that up where you can see the embossing on there. And it turns out wonderful. Okay, and you can do multiple dies at one time too because of the magnet holding everything on there. So we'll just do all of these. Why not? Okay. So I have all of them on there, and now I want my cutting plate on that. Oops, how about if I put a piece of paper in there? <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> okay, so there's my paper, oops, and my cutting plate, and... Because I got more than one in there, I'm going to run it through twice. Okay, 
And as you can see, they came out beautiful. And we want to leave the paper in the in the die so then we can emboss it and you can see there's well let's see. So I think you can see there's no embossing on there yet. Okay, so now we do that. And my mat. And my plate. And my thin embossing paper wedge. Okay. And run that through. And I'm going to run this through a couple times, too, just to make sure it's got a nice, deep embossed. I like it to be really embossed well. Okay, one more time for good measure. Alrighty. Okay. All right. Guess I don't need a pokey tool for the little one. Okay, I'm going to leave these sitting on my mat there to show you guys. And voila! Isn't that awesome? Well, I hope that gives you guys an idea of something that you can do. Um, that can get more use out of your tools. Okay, and I'm going to show you one last little thing here. I have, I'm going to put my little butterfly down there. I have this tool by Tim, Tim Holtz. It's the, um, uh, jeez, it's the sanding paper. Sorry, sometimes. Okay, and because my paper has a white core, meaning it's colored on both sides and white in the center. You can do this in boss and I'll do half of the butterfly so you can you can see what I'm talking about. Where well, you get a idea of what it looks like. And you could just use sandpaper without this tool, but this tool really does make it so much easier. You're not having to fiddle around with the sandpaper trying to hold it flat. You can buy a tool similar to this in the hardware department too. I think it's just called a sanding block. All right. But um, I used a coupon at Joann's, and it only cost me a couple of dollars for this. So I thought that was pretty good when she got to use a coupon on it. Okay, so now I have half of the butterfly done and half of it not done. And you can see that on the embossed areas, it really just makes it pop and look so cool. Anyways, well... That's it for right now. I thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. That would be awesome. And subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. 
Alrighty, well, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.